Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have an update on the Bitcoin price. In today's episode, we're going to have a look what is going on right now. So yesterday we had this nice trade set up here for a possible breakout to the upside. We got rejected here as soon as we uh, filled here the CME gap at around $11,600. So as you can see here on the CMEs, we came very close to the resistance and got rejected and and now since then uh, we are trading again right here at the bottom and you can see that already now we are testing this support here uh, four times so in my opinion we are in a very critical point we could set up a base here or at least we could create a possible bull flag which could break out here to the upside and take us to the next level but there are also some signs that we could see a potential drop in the price so a little correction at least for the short term to retest here this $9,800 level and then continue here the run to the upside and potentially then have this final breakout of $11,500. So I have currently a bit mixed feelings because here on the Bitcoin price we are creating this potential rising wedge also on the CMEs which also could end up just in a big bull flag also because we are in the altcoins currently still bullish some of the altcoins are really pushing hard like band for example bancor and also chainlink especially chainlink is really performing great we also take out the high that we had here at eight dollars and 80 cents so currently chainlink is really in bull mode and we should expect some more fireworks here to the upside so based on what we're seeing right now in the altcoins makes me more confident that we will see a continuation here of this run and that 11,500 will be broken pretty soon and the same thing on ethereum as well that very very soon we're gonna also break here these 400 dollars so i'm still very bullish even though there are also some signs that we could have maybe a short term correction here something similar like we have seen on the weekend like a big red candle to the downside and then immediately a bounce back up to the upside because don't forget that we still have the CME gap down here at around $9,600. So it is possible that in case of a breakout here to the downside, we will eventually go down to close this gap and also retest this $9,800 dollar level and also this 9800 so far didn't get tested after we reached here this twelve thousand dollar area only when we had here this initial breakout we came down to retest it and afterwards we never came back down so it is possible that we have a short-term correction here not only on bitcoin in overall all the old coins all the ethereum litecoin and so on but it's of course not necessary that we have to go right now down and close the gap and also correct and retest this support this can also happen after the next big leg up so this could also happen way later after we're gonna test 16 18 and even 20 Okay, so don't trade just based on the CME gap and also this potential correction that we could see here in the next couple of hours or days. So what I'm going to do personally right now is to DCA down to this level. So every dip that I'm gonna see, I'm gonna buy a little bit more, not only into Bitcoin, but also into some altcoins down to those levels. Because if we are setting up here a new base for the next leg to the upside, then those prices that we're seeing right now we won't see it most likely for a very long time and that's why it's always good to DCA especially when we are seeing signs of a correction but also when we are in such critical points where we could see a big breakout and here in the one hour you can see that currently all the moving averages are coming together so also here we should expect a breakout pretty soon RSI is right at the middle line stochastic in oversold so in theory we should see here a big bounce to the upside pretty soon if the moving averages in the one hour are crossing the 200 then this could indicate that we could see this short term correction to the downside and this might be the perfect opportunity to scale in big long positions for example on Bybit, BTR, Femex or buy some more cheaper Bitcoin and also altcoins 
And if we have a look here into the Bollinger Band in the one hour time frame, you can see that currently we are testing the middle line. So far, we couldn't close anymore a one hour candle above 11,320. So the midline of the Bollinger Band, MACD is also shifted to the downside. So there is a very high chance that we may be going to retest here this 11,190 level, maybe even overshoot it to the downside in case that we are getting heavy rejected here. So here it looks like that we could be in here for a little correction to the downside, which most likely will also take some of the altcoins down, even though some of them are really performing great right now. But that could be a perfect buy opportunity if you plan to buy some of these altcoins for a cheaper price. And of course, also the big players like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And now let's have also a look here into the four hour time frame because also here you can see that we're still struggling here to break through and close four hour candles above the 20 moving average, which in my opinion is a bit of bearish sign. Also, you see that the RSI is right at the 50 and the 20 and 50 moving average are coming together. So if the 20 is crossing the 50, we could see a potential correction here to the downside. Stochastic is oversold. So also here in theory, we should expect here a retest here of 11,500 and possibly also a breakout here to the upside in the next couple of hours. Otherwise, this could be really ending up into a bigger correction towards 10 Okay, of course, at 10,500, I'm expecting some support. But if we're breaking out here, then most likely we're going to go and reach also 10K, where also the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame is lining up. So this target down here at 9,800 is still in the cards to be reached here, especially if we're going to lose here the support of around 11,000. $200. And if we're coming that low here to touch the 200 moving average in a four hour, most likely we're also going to have a week to the downside to also test here the bottom of this rising channel that we are in currently and also finally close this CME gap that we have at 9,600. So then we can really start a parabolic move to the upside with heavy loaded bags. And now let's open up also the four hour time frame in the Bollinger Band because here also you can see that we are still struggling to close these four hour candles above the middle line of the Bollinger Band. Same like in the one hour MACD still shifted to the downside and here the bottom of the Bollinger Band is at 10,840. So I still think that most likely we're going to stay here in this area between 11,400 and uh, 10,840 before we're going to see the next move. So keep an eye at those prices levels here between 10,400 and 10,850 if one of the two gets broken then most likely it is time to enter a trade because then we could see a big drop here in the price if we lose 10,850 but also if we are able to close a four hour candle above 10,400 we could be heading towards $12,000 again which is the top here of the Bollinger Band. And now let's open up the daily time frame because also here you can see that currently we're still trading above the 20 moving average, which is very bullish. It's currently at 10,470. So also here, if we're coming down to test this level where I'm expecting also to have very heavy support, it is still likely that we could have a week or at least a couple of days trading maybe towards the 50 daily, which is also here at 9,600 where the future gap is lining up. So also here, it looks like that we still could go down to test these levels before we're gearing up for the final move to break this $11,500 resistance. And although you see that the stochastic is cooling off, which is a good sign here in the daily, RSI is still a bit overbought. So also here, it would be more healthy if we are coming down to retest the 50 level, have the final confirmation that previous resistances are right now support and also close the CME gap so that we can easily start to pump again and also break the resistance above us. And as I told you, my friends, this could be really the last time that we're going to see Bitcoin sub 10K and also on Ethereum, the last time that we could see prices uh, towards uh, $300. And now let's also have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily because here you can see that we retraced back down here into the Bollinger Band after overshooting it for days. And in theory, even if we go down to the middle area here of $10,000, we should see a big bounce from it. So only if we are closing daily candles again below 10K, 
then in theory we could be into this lower channel here between 10k and $8,500. I don't think that we have to go necessarily that low, but as soon as we close daily candles below 10k, then it's possible that we're also going to see 9k again. But in that case, this most likely will just be for the short term, so a very short lift correction down to those levels, in my opinion. We have the MACD still shifted to the upside. We have to keep an eye here in case that we're going to start to trade sideways here. If we're going to have a bearish cross, this could indicate some sell pressure, but currently we're still good to go and especially if we are having another pump here to the upside also here the MACD would continue to be shifted to the upside so here in the daily in theory we're still very bullish and now we can also have a look at the weekly time frame here on the Bitcoin price because here also it looks like that we could be in a potential top here we had now three green weeks and also you see that the stochastic and RSI are coming very close to overbought condition and if you have a look where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up it's right here at the bottom of our channel here at $9,300 so that's why I still think that these price levels are still in the cards and we could go down to those levels and that might be really the last opportunity to buy some cheaper altcoins and bitcoins so make sure that you're ready already now to buy some more load up your fiat account load up your Bybit, Femex and Bityard account to trade the longs once we're gonna hit these targets down here if we're going that low and now let's also have a final look here at the Bollinger Band in the weekly because here also you can see that we are right at the top so a little correction here towards the midline is possible MACD still shifted to the upside so as I told you guys even though we could see a short lift correction take it as an opportunity to buy cheaper in and try to DCA as much as possible once we're gonna see a correction because you will never buy the bottom but if you DCA during a correction then for sure you will have a perfect average entry so with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget subscribe to the channel moon up the likes if you need a buy bit femex or bityard account where you can trade with leverage bitcoin and other assets then make sure to use the links that you find down below here in the video description with my links you can get some sign up bonus and also you support the channel of course so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye